In the past few videos, I've been developing this slightly aggressive Nerf gun, inspired partly by DARPA's secret project called Exacto, and a popular kids' TV show. I want that. It has a firing rate of more than 250 balls per second, and with a bit of math, physics, and three brushless motors, it can do something very special that I like to call Magnus Vectoring which basically just means it can shoot around corners. Just like in that one movie. Why? 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 Because I want to. I've also been dropping little hints about my plans in some of the previous videos. Targeting system. It can't track targets yet, but in case you haven't caught a whiff of what I'm dropping, it's hard to hit anything using the vectoring system. Part of that is my fault for buying these cheap ESCs. But in the previous video, I think I fixed the issue by replacing these with better ones. The other part is um, also my fault, which is a common occurrence on this channel. It's hard to aim using the joystick. So let's take the joystick out of the equation and let the gun aim itself. I still need the controller. To do that, we're going to use a camera and AI. Not ChatGPT or Claude, sorry. We're going to use a special neural net that's been trained to do something called pose estimation. The best way for me to demonstrate this is for me to dress up like a bad guy. Now that I'm in character, let's see what my neural net sees. Ooh, spooky. Kind of looks like a skeleton. Stop. Now, if we mount the camera to the gun, and if we update the firmware so that we can feed the position data from the camera directly into the vectoring system, we should, in theory, just have an aimbot now. And yes, I did do the old switcheroo with the motors again. Thanks for noticing. These motors are much higher quality and create way less vibration at high speeds. So this would be the part where I'd show you it working, but like any good demo, I decided to make a few changes in the firmware, and it melted one of the ESCs. These MOSFETs did a molten solder slip and slide straight into my pile of shame. Thankfully, it was just one and I had a spare, but I'd like to warn you that if you're not careful or you don't know what you're doing, this firmware can and probably will destroy your hardware so you should not go to my Patreon and download it for your own projects. I'm not joking, you've been warned. Okay, now that I've replaced the broken ESC, let's get back to testing the aimbot. Okay. So, it kind of seems like it's aiming towards my pants area. I must have a bug in my code. So, let's go try to figure that out. Oh, sure enough, I gave it the wrong set of training images. Just kidding. It can actually target any point on the person that it's currently tracking. Right now, I have it set to target your head or your- Johnson. Yes, sir. <laughs> takes forever. It's working really well. It hits me pretty much every time. Now there is one other thing that I'd like to test, and that's to see if it can hit a moving target. I need a better way to load this. Or, better yet, a friend to load it for me. Can you shove balls down my barrel? With your fingers? No, you don't have hands. I guess I'll just do it myself. Nope. This doesn't work. And it's because it takes some amount of time for the balls to get where they're going. And by the time they get there, I've already moved. 
The way I'm going to solve this is by adding trajectory prediction. And I'm going to say path prediction from now on because it took me several tries to say trajectory. Anyways, here's what that looks like. The green line extending from my face is where it's predicting it needs to shoot to intercept my face. And here's some shots of those balls trying to intercept my face. The path prediction is definitely helping, but you can see they're only hitting me as I'm starting to fall out of the frame. This works way better than I had ever imagined. I think the main issue is I need to be able to shoot the balls at a higher velocity, and to do that, I need a higher voltage battery. And I will revisit this when I'm able to get a 6S battery. I'm pretty excited about all the different things I could do, like a burst fire mode that switches between targets every time you pull the trigger. Now, I'm not sure if I want to publish the code for the aimbot. I don't want to be responsible for any technology like this making it into a real firearm, if it's not already. But let me know if you want me to publish it, and maybe I'll change my mind. If you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and I have a Patreon if you want to support my projects. Oh my gosh. Check out what I just figured out. You just gotta see. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, <laughs> thanks, bye.